Hey there, Sharon Hernandez from here. Welcome to day 229 of our Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. Today and every day this month, we're talk about, talking about communication, communication goals, because our goal is to achieve our goals this year and into the future. So we're learning tools and systems, and we're talking about topics that a lot of times we wouldn't even think about, much less talk about. And today's, I think, might be one of those, because most of us just show up in our life however we our, our. I mean, we just show up with the level of energy, the level of enthusiasm that we pretty much face everything else with. And communication might be an area or aspect of your life, like me, that I never gave much attention to. I just did what I did and said what I said and thought what I thought and didn't really ever consider it as an area of growth and improvement for myself. And so yesterday we did the DISC analysis or the anagram or a personality test of some sort. Hopefully you did it. I actually went back and did it and I did two of them. I did the anagram one to the emotion based one and okay, I apologize for yesterday. I thought I found a free tool but I didn't dig into it deep enough until yesterday when I actually used it. And of course you get to take the test for free but then you have to pay $29 if you want the results. They give you like not even really what your results are and then say, oh, pay us $29 and we'll send you the full 19 page report of all the details. And it's really just a, uh, it's not a super deep dive, but when you find a tool that you want to get the deep dive for, I recommend that you buy it and read it and see what you can learn from it. Uh, the, the reason I like this site is they had a lot of different tests. I think they had eight or nine different tests on their site. It's very good marketing. I'll put that out there. They did a good job marketing it, exactly what you would expect. Hey, take our free test and then pay us money to get the results. And then they probably have, if they're smart, I'm not sure they did because I didn't buy it, uh, a way to, to work with a, an expert in one of those areas to achieve the goals and objectives that you want. And they were, you know, they had love relationships and all the different areas and aspects of your life, which means it's just a good marketing filter tool, lead magnet, but it's not necessarily what we want, except we did want the results of the test. And for the second time, I was surprised by my Myers-Briggs test, and I came out as an ENFJ instead of an ENFP. Now, this is the second time I've taken this, and I remembered it was last summer I took it previously. And some stuff happened last summer that actually had an impact on me to the extent of flipping me from or putting me in a constant stress mode where instead of being perceiving, I am judgmental. And if you know me, being judgmental, and I, I notice I have been more judgmental and more critical of myself and other people for about the last year, which is now something that's going on my goals to change because I'd much rather be perceptive than I would be judgmental because who am I to judge? One of the things I remember from waking up from my sudden cardiac arrest out of the coma was how much judgment bothered me. So here I am catching myself over the last year or so being way more judgmental. And maybe it's, you know, outside forces impacting on me, but that's just my excuse. It's up to me internally to choose different things, think differently, and change that. So that's my lessons from yesterday. See, every day even I learn lessons. So today our topic is energy and enthusiasm with respect to the communication area and aspect of our life. Do you, number one, communicate with energy and enthusiasm? Me, it depends on the situation. If I'm just hanging out in my everyday life, I'm probably not very enthusiastic. But people that overhear my videos live, uh, at least that live in my same household, think that I scream in my videos. I don't think I scream. I like to speak a little more loudly in the videos because it comes across uh, as less enthusiastic if you don't, and then you sound like you're talking in a monotone. And nobody wants to listen to anybody doing monotone videos or talking in Zooms or communication at all. So uh, on a scale, our, our action time today is twofold. Number one, on a scale of zero to 100, how excited are you about your communication, your communication skills, your current level of communication, your uh, communication goals? Because this might be an area where you've never really actually set specific goals and objectives. And that's what we're doing this month. We're setting specific goals and objectives, probably three, but one for sure, that we wanna achieve this year. So maybe you wanna write a book, maybe you wanna be a speaker, maybe you want to do live videos, maybe you want to feel more comfortable doing Zoom, maybe you wanna be a better texter like me, or a better written communicator. Whatever it is, on a scale of 
one to 100 or zero to 100, if you got no enthusiasm for it, we really have work to do. Uh, how excited or energized are you about achieving this goal or objective or having a goal or objective or increasing your communication skills? Now, I'm gonna contend, if you give yourself less than a 70 or 75, we have some work to do, meaning we need to go back and we need to remember what's in it for you to be a better communicator. What's in it for you to achieve this goal? Because if you don't even have 75% enthusiasm when you set a goal or objective, what's the probability you're gonna do what it takes to achieve that goal and objective in the time that you've set for yourself? It's pretty slim to none. Why? Because as soon as a little bump or a blip or something else happens that gets our attention, we're going to forget all about our communication goal and we're not going to do anything about it. So, zero, 1 to 100, 100 being awesome, I'm 100%, I'm all in, I'm going for this goal no matter what, to 1 or up to 70, 75, hey, I'm in, but if something distracts me, I'm probably not going to be committed to achieving it. What are we gonna do about that? And and the second part of the, the, besides get a number, your number, it's just your number, and it's just how you're feeling today. Tomorrow you might be all excited and enthusiastic, but today you're not very energized or enthused about it. But we still wanna address that. So revisit your why. Remember the seven whys exercise we recently did? Why do you wanna be a better communicator? Why do you want to improve or get this communication goal? And think about, secondly, besides revisiting your why, think about your experiences, your interactions, your relationships, your, uh, I don't know what I was going to say about it, but think about the experiences that you're having. Are they how you want them to be? Is your primary relationship going the way you want it to be? Is your relationship with your kids or your grandkids and your communication with them, because a lot of our relationships are based on misunderstandings and misinterpretations of our communications. Maybe it's our nonverbals. Maybe we're not really there. Maybe we're not really attentive. And being attentive, being present is an excellent communication goal, right? To improve your, your presence and your being in the now. That's one that I am working on all the time and will continue to work on probably till the day I die, unless I make a conscious decision that I'm going to always be in the present moment, which I probably won't <laughs> because I know me, right? That's a, that's a big stretch for me to always be present because my brain's going off in about six different directions all the time. And then finally, just like everything else we're doing this year, become more self-aware in terms of consciously pay attention to your communications, your communication style, your communication tone, your nonverbals, all those things we talked about, your interactions. Pay attention to just the interactions you're having today. Did And just quick check after an interaction or communication, did it go as you expected? Did the email message that you send out get the results you expected? Did the meeting that you had with your boss go as expected based on just simply communication and communication styles? Did you present the information in a way that suited that person, your boss, your friend, etc. And then ask yourself, am I avoiding? Am I uh, hiding? Am I procrastinating? Am I postponing? Am I ignoring any type of communication? Am I, am I not talking to my boss? Am I not talking to my significant other about something? Am I not giving my kids feedback, etc.? Whatever it might be. And then share your number, and then if you want, share what you're going to do about it. Uh, I would say, as far as energy toward communication goals and improving them, I might be a little bit around the 75% mark. Yeah, I know I need to do it, but I can see myself letting other priorities take precedence and focusing on them versus focusing on this. So I've got to think about what am I going to do today, and I'm going to pay attention to my interactions today, consciously pay attention, and then figure out what am I gonna do about that because I know that communication is a critical foundational skill that if I fix it in, if I, if I improve that, it automatically improves all the other areas and aspects of my life. And that gives me energy and excitement. Now I'm gonna go back and revisit my seven whys as well to remind myself the power of improving my communication and achieving my communication goal this year. All right, any questions, hit me up. Chat GPT is broken on Google and I tried yesterday to fix it on my Bing and I just didn't have the energy and the enthusiasm to do that. I will wait it out. 
but as far as the write-ups go, I'll check this morning and see if I can get the fix that they put in there to work because I couldn't yesterday. And I was busy, so I had to like try to sneak it in in between meetings and things. But uh, I'll see if I can fix that today. Otherwise, in a couple of days when it's repaired or when I figure out another way to add the written content to guide 17, I'll do that. But I am, I'll check this morning after I make my videos and see if I can get it to work. That's just a bonus thing anyway, but I committed to doing it, so I'm going to find a way to make it happen. All right. Have an awesome day. Have some energy and enthusiasm about every area and aspect of your life so that you want to create the life that you want. All right. I'll be with you tomorrow.